Well, it's been another interesting um, 24 hours as, uh, as ever. Always interesting. Um, last night, it was quite late -ish, 6 30, 7 o'clock. I had a, um, a youngish couple roll up um, at the gate um, wanting to stay in the pod, which wasn't booked up last night, Saturday night, um, but wanted to pay cash and all the rest of it, which was a, a definite bit of a no-no. So um, obviously declined that kind of offer. Um, we need some kind of um, traceability of, of, of who stayed on the site. Anyway, to cut a long story short, um, sort of 10 minutes later, they came back and um, they'd actually booked online. And um, yeah, all of a sudden, mysteriously managed to produce a, a, a card to pay anyway to cut a long story short they ended up an absolutely smashing couple really 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 nice and um it's always a great pleasure when you get people staying in the pod and they make the bed and clean clean uh everything up after themselves so to cut a long story short all the um bedding's been changed yet again today everything's been given a wipe down and um the pods all um all ready to go so there we are that's um oh there you can see that that's all uh yeah that's all made up um for our next visitor which is um i don't think i don't think this is booked for a few days uh to be honest um i need to check anyway so that's all made up so i'm going to uh, turn the lights off and oh, get the drop in i need to get some keys and lock that up and then So yesterday, if you remember the vlog that I did yesterday, I haven't got a Sorry about that. So yesterday, if you um, watched the vlog that I did, I mentioned about um, putting this advert up for this uh, cafe we've got. So I'm going to totally distract you. So do you remember me talking about wildlife and flowers? We've got so many butterflies about at the moment. I don't know where they've all come from. And let me just try here. But look. And pollinators, you see, that's all the bees and um, well, bumblebees and honeybees and butterflies galore. There's another bee. Anyway, anyway, sorry, so I mentioned yesterday that we'd um, I'd put this advert up and everything, and I was a little bit overwhelmed with the response. And um, to cut a long story short, to cut a long story short. I'll have a look at this here now. So can you see that? Yep, we've got a um I actually had three direct serious inquiries about taking on the cafe, uh, which was absolutely amazing, all within um a couple of hours. So I've opted um for the first couple that got in touch with me, oh, I'll sit down. I'll sit down in the cafe in a couple of weeks. I might be sat here with a cup of coffee or a bacon butty. Um, so I opted to um, give the first couple that got in touch with me the chance. So they're currently working. Um, I won't name the site. They're working on another campsite. Um, very disillusioned with um, the roles that they're in. Um, it wasn't as promised, and they're being um, taken advantage of in quite a big way by all accounts. So we've had a Good long chat with them and they're coming up um, in a week's time so give them a few days to get settled in show them what's going on around here and um, obviously they'll be then in touch with the local authority to say that the uh, cafe is uh, reopening up and um, yeah all being well they'll make a success of it and I, I really wish them well so if you're watching this and you might be see you in a week's time I won't I won't mention any names yet but um, that, and then I did have um, a, another excellent couple um, as well, who were really keen. And again, funny enough, they've been on the campsite and they've been um, very disillusioned with the role that they'd been placed in. Um, so yeah, a bit of a theme going on there this year. So it happened to me, didn't it? And I ended up also with um, a, a, a lovely lady from uh, a five minute walk down the road in this little village that I'm at. Um, randomly appeared today and she wanted to see whether we had any jobs going any little cleaning jobs or anything like that obviously we haven't but it was really nice to sort of chat with her and um get to meet her so um she's a pensioner and she's got some plants and perennials and things like this <clears throat> that she tries to sell um 
to give her a little bit of pin money to help her support a dog. So I will be going down to her bungalow at some stage, sooner rather than later, and go and get some plants from her. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we had a, an arrival yesterday whose um, jockey wheel on his caravan had come off and um, come off the hitch. Fortunately, his breakaway cable stopped the van and it could have been really serious, um, really serious. He's managed to get to a caravan dealer and um, get a repair. So yeah, so they joined us. Then I've had another caravan come on today, um, an Adria caravan. Um, I'm a big fan of the Adrias. And funny enough, they'd also had a problem with their jockey wheel. So it was um, jockey wheel problem days. And uh, plumbing, yeah, let me, I'm just gonna put the camera down now for a minute. I've had a, a, a wee bit of a plumbing problem. Let me show yeah, you. Yeah, so to cut one story short, I was doing the um, uh, toilets and facilities this morning as, uh, as ever, and about 11.30, a woman come running over going, um, we've just taken off our hose pipe um, on the water tap by the side of the caravan, the, and the water tap wouldn't turn off. So fortunately I knew where the main stop cop for the whole site was, so off I ran, um, turned the water off to the entire site, and um, we then managed to put on a, a, a twin um, adapter onto a plug with separate taps on it as a temporary fix, because um, I had to get the toilets cleaned and get them back in anyway. 20 minutes later, um, I went and had a rummage in the, uh, in the shed I've got here, because we have a, a few spares and um, found a spare tap. So unfortunately the thread is quite a short thread and it wouldn't go in, uh, which is a bit of a bit of a ball ache. Um, so I did have these um, sort of shoulders. So I don't know whether, if you know anything about plumbing, basically this goes onto a post and your cold water pipe comes in here. And then uh, in short, that sort of screws onto there. So we did have a way to go about it, but, but um, there was a gentleman with us. He said, oh, open it up. And there's a, I forgot my name of it, but basically when you turn a tap on and off, even even at home, there's um, a, a little thing basically what goes up and down to let the water in and out. So we dismantled the new tap with the short thread. And um, da -da -da -da. so this had um, sheared here there should be a, a little bit of a length on it but basically this goes up and down um on it so we're all back in business and i'm now going to be ordering um on amazon because uh, i wasn't too sure when i was going to be able to get out to go and get a tap anyway th they'll be here spare taps sometime this week and i've also ordered a couple of spare um dee -dee -dee -dee, bits and bobs and I didn't have any PTFE tape neither. Ugh, a bit of a nightmare. So, um, yeah. So it's been a bit of a mad Sunday um, so far. But the, but say, but the, the, the real great news is, um, yeah, I've got a, a, what seems to be a smashing couple will be here just over a week. And they'll also um, do a couple of jobs for me a couple of times a week. So I'm going to be able to get back to having a couple of days off. So the minute you may not have picked up, but I've been mainly working seven days a week. So it's not hard. It is hard work, but it's not tiring hard work. It's a, it's a joy to work here. And because the couple that are coming up have got their own motor home, I'm going to, I'll wait a couple of weeks just to make sure everything's okay. But I'm going to put the lunar caravan that I showed you yesterday. Um, yeah, that's going to go up for sale and that's going to free up a bit of space here on the site. So that's been my um, that's been my mini twenty four hours in the last um, twenty four hours under the say Sunday. Uh, it's been a bit bit chaos. Um, I've got one person left to come in this afternoon, and um, that's us pretty well done for the for the day. So what I'm possibly going to do? I'm going to go and uh, get a quick sandwich in my van. I'm probably going to nip into um, Skeggy. I think uh, have a little run out. Get myself off the site for um, a wee while, and um, what should I get? get? You know, I am in the mood for a KFC. I've well, neither done a kebab since I've been here. I could wait till tonight for a donner, but I think I'm going to go to KFC and go and get myself a, a mighty bucket for one. Um, talking about mighty buckets for one. Sorry, <laughs> this is no disrespect if you're a vegan or a vegetarian. 
but have you noticed especially vegans always have to tell you that what they're eating is a vegan option it's a vegan meal it's a vegan it's a vegan it's a vegan meal um here's my vegan meat burger here's my vegan beef burger my vegan sausage so when i'm going to go i must say this is going to be my meat chicken real meat chicken and just keep mentioning it because how do you know if somebody's a vegan don't worry they'll tell you every day it's every meal time that's all tongue in cheek if you are a vegan well done good luck to you enjoy your diet and same if you're um if you're a vegetarian uh yeah two weeks time all being well this will be back in use right i'm gonna lift down to the van and i'm um, gonna say hello to russia uh and quick bite to eat beat up for half an hour and then all being well we'll get this checking done and um yeah skeggy we come kfc do they tell you they do meat options at kfc um yeah they do meat options at kfc so if you're meat eater go to kfc yeah meat options kf Kent fried chicken <laughs> i love chicken nothing else i mentioned yesterday i think i'm changing the bedding so um shut the bed last night and put everything in the washing machine and um all fresh bedding on the bed so that's all in here now it's been in the tumble dryer that's all dry so I, i'm not hello rush what are you doing um i put the bedding into a plastic container and this is stored under the bed so change your bed in and whilst i was under the bed getting that i found my missing dead cat it's appeared boo so um yeah where's my missing dead cat uh what well, uh, missing dead cat and my wife had lost a pair of glasses last time she was here and uh, under the bed look what i found <laughs> um yeah marvelous right so um put the bedding away a bit of washing that i've got away and uh quick sandwich and then uh, as i say possibly heading down to skeggy and that's um under the bed you can't see that goes all the way back i have got a colossal amount of storage here so i've got storage boxes with um various items in uh and down come to bed uh over there Russian my dog often sleeps on that pillow so that's got um that on there so uh yeah tons of storage space under the bed um sorry another under the seat here under the seat here wardrobe blockers and lots of storage space anyway right i am definitely going to get a sandwich this time Right, into the uh, McDonald's, no, not McDonald's, KFC drive through we go. Mighty bucket for one and some gravy. So I'm just driving back from the KFC in Skegness and um, I looked at the menu and um, I, went for the, I went for the meat option because, you know, they had a fine option of um, meat dishes with it being the Kentucky Fried Chicken Shop. Gonna get tucked in very shortly. Another couple of minutes and I'll be back. Right, yo, so back of the van and... Um, I got my, I got my Pepsi. I've got some gravy. You cannot have a KFC without KFC gravy. I've got my fries, and um, did I mention I went for the meat option? Oh, yeah. This is um, this is the meat option because they do do a meat option at KFC, and Russia is getting very giddy by the smell of the meat option. Okay, okay. Let's get tucked in. Time for tea. Right, that's pretty well a wrap. Um, got some rubbish gone put out. Um, some mealworms put on the table for the birds. Um, got the robin and bullfinches and other birds on the bird table at long last. Um, yeah, day done. Um, so, oh dear. I've just wolfed down that um, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Did I tell you I went for the meat option? Right, I've got to go. You know what to do, guys. If you've not already done it, subscribe down there below. Hit the um, hit the like button, and you know what? We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.